All right, let's check out uh, Thomas Grande uh, doing some basic slalom, free ski. Uh, the video, it could be five years old. Not much has changed. Maybe the stance is narrowed a tad, but the basics are the basics. And they have not changed. So slalom, what do we want to think about? Let's keep it simple. We want to keep weight on the outside ski. We want to keep ankle flexion being in the front of the boot and both feet. Uh, a little bit more square up upper body. Put in a pole plant. Nice high, high edge angles. And we'll be fine. Let's check him out. Here he comes in. He is rolling him up nice and high out of his transition where he got rebalanced. He is carving before the ski gets to the fall line. Notice he was carving the top of the turn. He pole plants and then recenters. So if you're thinking about uh, you know, the old ski school, I'm going to plant my pole and turn around it. Um, that's too late. We have to pole plant the end of the turn. It helps us get recentered and balanced, which is he is. He's kind of stacked up there. And he rolls him back. High edge angle. The other way. He's pole plant. He recenters. He's stacked up. And again, you can see right there some nice high edge angles. You know, before that skis, his skis got in the fall, and the fall line would be more or less there. And he is carving before and above the fall line, giving pressure in the fall line, allowing him to release early with the pole plant. So it's not heavy, it's not a heavy turn underneath the fall line. Quick release. Now his hands are more or less out in front. Three rules of hands. Uh, hands must be above the waist. Elbows in front of the torso. And uh, uh, hands slightly wider than the elbows. Here he comes into this turn. He rolls them up early. And he clearly, at this point in time, he's got nice parallel shafts of the shins. Uh, he's in a really balanced stance. His shoulders are fairly you know, level right there. He's level there. That's a good look at turn. He pole plants, releases. Now in modern slalom, we don't see a lot of up unweighting in between the turn. There's no time for that. So he kind of absorbs that as the skis have to get from this side of him to this side. He kind of sucks them up. So you will notice, you know, his head. See his head? It never really, the, the height of it doesn't really change much. So he's kind of absorbing underneath. Um, if he up unweighted in the traditional sense in a slalom course, he wouldn't be near the next gate. It would be, it takes too much time. So we retract. Here's our pole plant. Retraction. This is, this is, in modern Psalm, this is where we are the most extended at the top of the turn. He came through, he pole planted, retracted to get the feet underneath him, and over to the other side, and then move forward and inside, and here is the most... Uh, the most extension or the tallest, but he's not tall because he's you know already edged, but that's it. But you can see right there, look at that outside ski, you know, that's where the weight is. Let's get in there. I mean, look at that bend of the ski, you know, he has, um, even though it appears 
like um you know some people must say he's leaning in right here well yes it's more inclination a little bit of inclination but um the weight is on that you know new outside ski and that's what we, that's, that's what we have to do we have to pick up the outside ski early and apply pressure and, and you can see the bend in that and it's going to come around on them and you can see how square he is i mean look at you know his back this whole time we're going to see his back the entire time he has taken it down the corridor so if this was a slalom course there is no doubt he's taken it down the hill Paul plant So there we go. Some basics of slalom. And let's bring it to the hill next weekend.